My YouTube channels haven't been getting a lot of views lately and I want to change that. So I've been doing a lot of research into what actually makes a video get views and I think I've cracked it. Imagine that every video we upload is a rocket that we're aiming to launch far into outer space and the distance that rocket travels from Earth equals the views you get. We all want our videos or rockets to soar through the Earth's atmosphere and continue to move well beyond our solar system, getting millions upon millions of views. But our worst fear is that the rocket doesn't even get off the ground and nobody, apart from our weird Auntie Karen, even sees our videos. So I asked myself a simple question. Why do I click on the videos I watch? And the answer I found made everything so clear. And really, it's the only reason any video on any platform gets views, especially millions. And it comes down to one word, relevancy. Each day we get bombarded with hundreds, if not thousands of pieces of media, and your poor subconscious brain has to filter through all of it. But how does it make a decision on what to watch? Quite simply, it notices the content that is most relevant to you in this current moment with your current circumstances. In other words, it's finding what's most important to you right now. And this could be anything from an update on your favorite streaming series to a tutorial on the next level of a skill you've been trying to learn. Or how about just a video to make you laugh because you've been feeling a little bit down lately. Or even a video that explains how to get more views on YouTube because you have a YouTube channel yourself and you want more views. Thanks for watching, by the way. But the only things you notice are those that are relevant to you with your personal circumstances. And the almighty YouTube algorithm knows exactly how our brains work and serves us content that we think is most relevant to us based on our past watch history. But even then, out of all the videos on the homepage and the suggested videos tab, you only pick a few of them to watch. And therein lies the most important question. What makes you pick those videos over everything else. Because if we can answer that, we can be sure to have our videos soar through the virtual galaxy. And again, it's actually a pretty simple answer. People pick the most important content to them in the current moment, given what's going on in their life right now. And I'll use myself as an example to illustrate this. So one of my biggest goals right now is to grow this channel to 1000 subscribers. So on my personal relevancy scale, any content that has to do with getting over 1,000 subscribers or anything I think will help me get closer to that is going to rank really high in relevancy and I am going to notice them more. And any other content that doesn't relate to my primary goal of getting 1,000 subscribers, I'm just going to ignore it. But this could change if my circumstances or goals change. For example, let's say I start experiencing severe lower back pain. It's all I can think about. And now I couldn't care less about getting 1000 subscribers. I want to get rid of this back pain. So now the relevancy of those two have flipped. Any videos pertaining to back pain, I'm now going to notice more. And generally the most important content to us does one of these few things. Number one, it solves a problem we are having by providing a quick, easy solution. The more important the problem is to us, the more relevant the content will be. Number two, it helps us become who we want to be. In other words, helps us reach our goals faster. And the bigger our desire is for that goal, the more relevant the content will be. Or number three, it showcases people who already have the success we want, our role models, which is again linked to our goals. Number four, it reaffirms or challenges our deeply held beliefs or opinions on topics we find interesting. And number five, it is relatable. Meaning when you see the video, you think to yourself, I can do that too. In other words, it doesn't provide a solution that only applies to 1% of the population. And for content to be extremely relevant to our audience, we have to consider one thing, timing. The time at which content appears to us on our own personal journey is probably the biggest determining factor on whether or not we click on the video. A classic example of this is Christmas related content. It's only relevant to people for a couple of months per year and for the rest of the year it's not relevant at all. But timing can also impact relevancy on a day to day basis. Now I want you to think back to my 1000 subscribers versus back pain example. On the first day I only cared about 1000 subscriber related content. But the very next day, my values switched and I cared more about back pain related content. The timing mattered. Or how about for another example, when we're new to learning a skill, we wanna see beginners related content. 
not advanced. Advanced related content is just not going to be interesting to us at this moment. But in the future, it might be. And this is why some videos get more views than others. If the content you're making applies to a larger group of people and they place a higher amount of importance on it, it's going to get more views than if it applies to a smaller group of people. For example, videos on Marvel films get more views than videos on art house films because more people find Marvel films relevant to them and they place a higher level of importance on them. Same thing for beginners related content. There's always going to be more beginners than advanced people at anything you're doing. So if you want more views and you want your rockets to soar well out of Earth's atmosphere, pick topics that apply to a large number of people and topics that they find important to them and their own personal goals, desires, and wants. Now to bring things full circle, I'm gonna run you through an example for coming up with a relevant video idea for my own channel validation. On this channel, I'm making videos that will help you and I both get better at making YouTube videos and see success here on this platform. Now I've got a rough audience persona based on my own goals and desires because I am a part of my target audience. And I know that for a lot of people, getting to 1000 subscribers is a big primary goal when you're getting started. And because it's a beginner level goal, it applies to a lot more people. So there's a lot of interest in this subject and I'm definitely going to make a video on it. But I also had an idea to make a video on how just one video could theoretically pay for your rent for an entire year. Now comparing those two ideas on a relevancy scale, paying your rent is much more relevant and important of an issue to more people than getting to 1000 subscribers. And people who make content on YouTube have to pay their rent as well. So is this idea actually relevant and will my rocket soar out of this galaxy? Well, I don't know and the only way I can know is to actually make it and see how it performs. And really it's up to my execution on this idea, my thumbnail, title, and the actual video itself. But I wanna leave you with the one thing that I took out of this analysis. And that's to ask myself just two simple questions whenever I'm coming up with video ideas for my channels. Number one, will my audience find this topic relevant right now? And number two, how important are they going to find this topic? If I answer just those two simple questions, it's going to put me in a much better position to make content that serves my audience, which after all, is what YouTube is all about. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to my rent and 1000 subscriber videos in the future to see how they do. And as always, remember, you're only one video away.